Hello, Char Chumley's rest. Oh, is Dr. Chumley there? Oh, it's Mrs. Chumley. How are you tonight, my dear? Oh, oh, tell me, Mrs. Chumley, were you able to locate Harvey? That's all right, I'll find him. I missed you at the McClure cocktail party. The people were all so lovely and I was able to give away quite a few of my cards. I waited until you phoned and said you couldn't make it because a patient had escaped. Where am I? Well, I'm here, but I'm leaving right away. I must find Harvey. Good night, my dear. My regards to you and anyone you happen to run into tonight. Goodbye. as well go home and wait i'm suing you for fifty thousand dollars and that is final but mrs simmons hello this Mrs. picture over your mantle that portrait happens to be the pride of this mansion oh, well, uh, uh, who painted it some man i forget his name he was here for the sittings we paid him and then he went away hello yes no this is dexter one five six seven I suppose if you have the money to pay people, you can get them to do anything. Well, Dr. Chumley, the other day at your place when you were helping me out of the tub, what did I tell you? Oh, you expressed yourself. I, I don't... stated, Doctor, this is a belated civility. Isn't that what I said? You said something of the sort. Well, since you brought it up, you might as well learn something. This past winter, I took a course in fine art. And the difference between a fine oil painting and a mechanical thing like a photograph is simply this. A photograph shows only the reality, while a painting shows not only the reality, but the dreams behind it. And it's the dreams that keep us going, that separate us from the beasts. And I wouldn't want to be alive if it were all just eating and sleeping and taking my clothes off and putting them back on again. And Oh, 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 steady now, steady. Oh, oh, don't get too excited. Everything is all right. Oh, oh. What is the matter? Doctor, that is not my mother. I'm glad to hear. Doctor, Elwood's been here. He's been here. Oh, I'll take it. Better be quiet. Yes? Hello? Yes? Oh, who is this? <gasps> here he is. Miss Simmons, it's your brother. <gasps> Let me talk to him. Oh, don't tell him I'm here. Be casual. Hello? Oh, Elwood, dear. <laughs> yes. Hello, dear. Where are you? Hold on just a minute. He won't say where he is. He wants to know if Harvey is here. Tell him Harvey is here. But he isn't. Tell him that. That will get him here, perhaps. Humor him. We have to humor them. Yes, I'm... Elwood, dear. Yes, Harvey is here. Why don't you come home, dear? Oh. Oh, well, well all right. It won't work. He says for me to call Harvey to the telephone. Say Harvey's here, but he can't come to the telephone. Say he's, uh, he's in the bathtub. The bathtub? Say he's in the bathtub and we'll send him there. That way we'll find out where he is. Oh, doctor. Now you've got to do it, Mrs. Simmons. Hello? Elwood? Yes, um, Harvey can't come to the phone right now. He's in the bathtub, but I'll send him out when he's dry. Where are you, Elwood? Where? Did he hang up? Harvey just walked in the door. He said I should go check the bathtub. There must be a stranger. 
But I know where he is. He's over at Charlie's place. It's a bar at 12th and Main. 12th and Main. That's two blocks down and one over, isn't it? Doctor, where are you going? I'm going to bring your brother back to the sanitarium where he belongs. No, Doctor, don't go after him. Send one of your attendants, please. I'm warning you. But, Miss Simmons, if I'm to help your brother... He cannot be helped. There's no help for him. He must be picked up, locked up, and left. Miss Simmons, do you consider your brother a dangerous man? Dangerous? Why? Well, I'm not going to tell you why. But if I did, why else would I be asking for a permanent commitment for him? Then I must observe this man. I must see his face as he talks to this rabbit. He does talk to the rabbit, you say? They tell each other everything. What? I say yes, Elwood definitely talks to Harvey, but don't go after him, Doctor. You will regret it if you do. Nonsense. You underestimate me, Mrs. Simmons. Oh, no, Doctor. You underestimate my brother. Not at all. It'll be fine. I can handle it. It'll be fine. You can handle it. Sure, that's what you think. Oh, Myrtle Bay! Would you mind checking to see who's in the bathtub?